It's a one-word change, but it changes a lot. The Energy Bills Relief Scheme replaced by the Energy Bills Discount Scheme, and it translates to an 85% drop in funding help for businesses. Here at the Black Sheep Brewery in North Yorkshire, it means more costs to soak up. If we passed on all of our increased costs, energy, fuel, input, raw materials, everything, you'd be talking about £10 plus a pint. There is a balance. I think we probably could have done with a little bit more time with maximum support in order to be able to help businesses like ours trade our way out of these situations. And I think that's what's been missing. The old scheme capped businesses' bills. The new scheme offers a discount instead. By the government's own estimates, under the old scheme, a pub could save up to £3,000 a month, but under the new scheme, it'll only save £190 a month. The year-long discounts for businesses, schools, hospitals and charities start in April, costing the taxpayer £5.5 billion. The government says it can't afford more and that wholesale energy prices, still at record highs, are falling. What we are interested in, though, is making sure that that wholesale reduction in gas prices that we've seen come down so much actually leads through to businesses' bills, that we see their bills reduce. And both the Chancellor and I have written to Ofgem to check and ask them to check that the market is working properly for those businesses. At this business, a dry cleaners, they're waiting to see any benefit from wholesale prices and are dreading April when the help they get from the taxpayer will reduce. All the bills that we have to pay, you know, I'm, I'm concerned that um, what was going to happen in, in the future with, with all the bills rising and electricity, and everything's rising. And yeah, I'm, I'm scared that we won't be able to cope. What's clear is there's no endless production line of government help. In fact, it's now rapidly reducing. The hope and assumption that energy prices will be in a better place when the new scheme ends in April 2024. Peter Lane, 5 News, North Yorkshire.